close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Remind yourself that you really want to do this. You want to train the mind because you realize that everything good in life comes out of a trained mind. And all the things in life that get destroyed get destroyed because of an untrained mind. So this is how you train it. You're mindful to stay with the breath. You keep reminding yourself. And then you're alert to watch over the mind to make sure it stays. And then you're earnest and ardent in keeping at this. In other words, as soon as the mind wanders off, you bring it right back. You don't get discouraged. You don't get upset, but you are firm. But the important thing is that you really want to do this. Otherwise, you can go through the motions and nothing happens. And then you say, well, I've meditated and didn't get much out of it. But you have to want the meditation to give results in order for it to work. It's one of the bases of success. It's this time of year when we stop to think about the past year and start thinking about the future year, what we want out of the future year. and We want success, whatever our aims may be, in terms of the world, in terms of the Dharma. We want to succeed. And that desire for success is not a bad thing. Sometimes you hear that you should just simply go with the flow or don't worry about results. But that's not the case. You want to act in a way that gets good results. And your desire is, if it's wise, focuses on the results and then realizes, okay, I've got to get the, the causes right. Once you've decided that a goal is a good goal to have, then you work towards it and you're, you're persistent in doing what you have to do. And your intent, you pay careful attention to what you're doing. Because there's nothing in the world that's really worth attaining that, where you simply follow the steps and do as you're told and things will come out all right. You've got to use your own powers of observation to see what's working and what's not, make adjustments where they're needed. And so you have to be really intent, watching carefully what you're doing, and then use your ingenuity. Use your powers of judgment to decide whether something really is in line with what you want or not. These are the qualities that carry through with that initial desire. Focus on the causes so that you can get the results that you want. A happiness is solid, a happiness is secure. Once you've decided that something is really worth following, really worth pursuing, okay, remember you've got to be persistent and you've got to pay careful attention and you've got to use your own powers of judgment. You can't expect to have everything handed to you. You've got to do some of the work yourself in deciding what needs to be done. So your particular desire, your particular goal gets developed and gets found, attained in your particular way. That's how we find success in life. It doesn't come floating by. It's something we have to go out and pursue. But there's nothing wrong with this pursuit. You say, well, desire is supposed to be bad. It's not, all, not all desires are bad. The desire is to search for happiness that's harmless, a happiness that's lasting. Those desires are to be encouraged. They're actually part of the path away from suffering. So encourage those desires and learn how to follow through so you actually get results. So that the new year will be a successful year.